Well, uh, we usually dance during that segment, we which do. we did, but you were doing some sort I of did erotic Maybe I was. hips world. I don't know what I just. Uh, Gilbert Hernandez did something <laughs> to me just a little while ago. Yes. He sure well. did. Well, who is Let's in? What it. is being inducted into the Cultural Hall of Shame? Okay, Jean, are you sitting down? I, yes. yes. Okay, I'll, you're right. Yes. I should have just looked right at you. Um, funny you should mention South Africa. Here's what they're up to this summer beer drones. Beer drones? Yes. They have unmanned aerial vehicles that will deliver to your location a beer from <laughs> the I sky. Heard about this. Drones that will bring you a mm, beer. Meanwhile, back in Canada, you know what we're getting this summer? Poutine soda. <laughs> now, normally, I have no problem defending Canada as the greatest place on earth. Best country in the world, hands Canada, down. Yes. Canada. But today, I'm just embarrassed. I'm embarrassed, Gian. All right, do you understand? If anybody should have invented an unmanned octocopter <laughs> to deliver from the sky, gently wafting down in its own parachute, a nice cold beer, it should have been a Canadian. I mean, right, we already dropped the ball on the beer helmet, which was invented by a Buffalo Bill fan so close to our country. And to be fair, who wants to really be known for inventing the beer helmet? It's kind of yes. the beer helmet. And Buffalo always gets the shaft, so let them have. The beer helmet. Yes. But what do we, in Canada, we're so self-conscious about everything except beer. I, this is the one thing we actually have pride yes, over. Yes, yes. Part right? of our national disposition. Is that we, and, beer drinking. And yeah. we didn't come up with this? I think they should, beer drones should be mandatory in this country. We, we shouldn't have just been at the forefront of this technology. It should be something as soon as you come of age to drink, <laughs> you get your own. You get your own. You just download the app, and then anytime, anywhere you are, you you're just like one screen tap away from a a floaty, a beer floating down. So, what Jean. exactly do these beer drones do? You 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 order a beer. And There's a, you know with a GPS, it finds your location on your phone, and, and then it drops beers on it you. Just you know and the idea is that you're at some massive concert, say, and rather than leave your spot, the, the beer comes to you in the little, the a tiny, drone. self-propelled. It's an unmanned air beer vehicle. It brings <laughs> you in the sky. It's like heaven. It's like you look up in the air, and right. your prayers are answered because there's your beer. It's oh. Comes down in like a parachute. A parachute yeah. with a beer right in your hand. Oh, what, what do you do? You know why we dropped the ball? South Africa. Mm -hmm. South Africa invented this. Is South? And you know where when were we? You know, on the podium. You know where they? They're not even releasing it until August. That's yeah. like the end of summer. Like beer season is the summer. Why wait until August? Well, not in South, South Africa. But, yeah. What are they known for? The vuvuzela. They made one plastic horn that it is makes one irritating note. And these people. Beat us to the punch for poutine right. soda. Jean, when have you? Why would you tamper with poutine? It's it's a like it's a perfect storm of wrong that results in the supreme right. It's like French fries and gravy and cheese curds. Yes. Why would you ever? I've never eaten a mouthful of poutine and thought, you know what? I want to wash this well, who's down. Who's making with? poutine soda? Poutine. It, the Jones, the you know, it's the it started in Western Canada. It's in Seattle now, but the right. owner, I believe, is Canadian. And this guy, focuses well, energy. I can't, when why would didn't you, he create the the beer drones instead of the poutine soda? I but guess. why poutine soda? What what kind of food are you eating where poutine soda is right. the palate cleanser? Right. Haggis? Uh, can I just ask Dave, David, David Francie, would you use a beer drone? Um, if one was available, I probably would. That's yeah. Right? Who see? wouldn't look at it? Man, listen to it, the sound of his voice. This is a guy who's <laughs> dying for a, a beer drone right now. But, but <laughs> listen, but would you would you ever reach for a poutine soda, my friend? Well, uh, not that I'd ever thought of before, but I'd certainly reach for poutine at any given time. Yes. You yeah. know what I'd like to wash down this poutine with? Liquid poutine. That's who. That's a, it's such a wrong idea. We, we've, if you ever eaten poutine at three in the morning and thought, you know what, I, I wish this was carbonated. <laughs> All right, so right, Mira Kurtz, we, we you have been, we insulted the, the poutine soda makers, we could have been the nation, the, the great nation of South Africa. It's a beer the, uh, helicopter, a personalized beer <laughs> helicopter versus poutine soda. This Elmira is a Kurtz, shameful com day. Comedian, writer, oh. curator of Q's Cultural Hall of Shame. I'm in pain now. We'll return next oh. week.